Today, we're going to take a look at five apartments in the East Village. We will rate apartments by their size, layout, natural light, unit amenities, and access to the subway. We will start with the least expensive and work our way up. Let's dive in. First up, we have a building located near 14th and 4th, where studios start at $4,200. This building is just steps from Union Square Park and a few doors down from a Whole Foods for when you need groceries. As far as studios go, it's definitely on the larger side, plenty of room for all of your furniture, assuming of course you aren't trying to fit a two bedroom into a studio. It even has a changing area near the bathroom. I can't quite give it five stars because my gut won't let me, but I'll settle for 4.5 stars. While the back of the unit is dark, there is a large window in the living space that lightens it up. Because the light doesn't quite reach the back half of the apartment though, I'll give it 3.5 stars for natural light. Apparently today I feel like giving a lot of places a rating with a 0.5 in it. Layout is at least a super simple box though, so I'll give it a nice round 5 there. And it's an updated unit, but unfortunately no laundry in the unit itself. However, it is at least in the building. 4 stars for in-unit amenities. And lastly, we will talk about the subway. You are only steps from the L and the N, Q, R, and W, so 5 stars for subway access. That brings this unit's overall total to 4.4 stars. We will take a look at a one bedroom in this building shortly, but since I'm doing least expensive to most expensive, we're going to go check out a three bedroom that's located near 12th and 2nd with a rent of $5,100. The unit does only have one bath, so you better be okay with sharing. Each bedroom does have a window though, which I know a lot of roommates require. I myself would also require, so I understand. As far as natural light, the light in the bedrooms is good. They each have at least one window that lets in a good amount of light. The windows in the living room, however, face a wall, so it's pretty dark. You probably wouldn't know the weather outside just by sitting in the living room. Because of this, I'm going to give it three stars for natural light. As far as size, I think it's a solid sized apartment. The bedrooms are big enough where no roommate gets forced to live in a closet, which we love. Four stars for size. The layout is very user friendly, no complaints here, easy to decorate and still keep a good flow to the unit. Five stars for layout. As far as in-unit amenities go, it's got some nicer finishes. There is no laundry in unit, but there is at least laundry and an elevator in the building. Four stars for in-unit amenities. Lastly, we will talk about the subway. Your steps from the L, but unfortunately, that line is really only convenient if you need to get to the meatpacking district or else somewhere in Bushwick or Williamsburg. If you walk a little while, you will eventually hit the 6 and the R and W, so 3.5 stars for subway access. That brings this unit's overall total to 3.9 stars. Now we will head back to the building near 14th and 4th to check out a one bedroom that starts at $6,200. Right away, we can see just how much natural light floods the space. It's a huge living room with a nice wall of windows. I need floor to ceiling windows in order to warrant a five star rating for natural light, but this is a solid four stars to start. As far as size, you've got plenty of room to play around with. I know a lot of management companies that would have turned this into a two bedroom by now, but I am thankful that they kept this as an oversized one bedroom. An easy five stars for size. You haven't seen the bedroom size yet, but once you do, I'm sure you'll agree on the five stars. And thankfully, no funky layouts in this unit either. If they had turned it into a two bedroom, then the flow of the kitchen wouldn't be as nice and it would probably feel really dark and dingy in there. So that's another reason that I'm happy that they kept it as one bedroom. Five stars for layout. This unit, again, doesn't have laundry, but at least it is in the building. Still, we rate units based on their in-unit amenities on this channel, so four stars. And if you remember, this building is only steps from the L and the NQRW, so five stars for subway access. That brings this unit's overall total to 4.6 stars. Next up is a two bedroom, one and a half bath at 10th and 2nd that was listed for $7,000. New York tends to fit apartments anywhere, and sometimes that results in apartments that have long hallways before you even hit the living space. This unit is no different. 
because the long hallways though, that does affect the natural light. Thankfully, every room has decent windows, but it's just harder for those windows to properly light up the entire space. I still think it deserves at least 3.5 stars for light though, because the windows do light up the rooms that they are in, and they're all a decent size. I just really don't think that I can give it more than 3.5 stars because of the darker hallway. You'll notice they were doing some work on the apartment when this video was taken, putting the finishing touches on for the next tenant, which oftentimes in New York City means adding yet another layer of paint to the walls. I'm grateful for all of those paint layers in my apartment though, because when I dropped something heavy the other day, <laughs> instead of me putting a hole in the wall, it just chipped off a bit of paint on the top layer. So thank you for that landlord special. Size of the unit is good enough where you'd definitely be happy living here. The fact that the apartment is so broken up makes it seem smaller than it is. One bedroom is definitely on the small side though, while the other one is large. I'd say 3.5 stars for size. Again, I just really seem to be liking the 0.5 ratings today. I will slightly ding the unit for the layout because of the long hallways. I know they're just doing what they can to make it work, but I am not a huge fan of apartments where a decent amount of the square footage comes from hallways. At least within all the rooms though, the layout is easy enough to decorate. I think four stars feels right considering the hallways though. And finally, we have an in-unit washer dryer. The unit is also nicely updated, so five stars for in-unit amenities. As far as subway access, you're a couple blocks from the L, 6, and RW. With the East Village, the further east you go, the more limiting the lines are, but this one is close enough to Astor Place where it's still convenient. Another solid four stars for this unit. That brings this unit's overall rating to four stars. Before we get to the final unit, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. My team is also ready to help with all of your residential and commercial needs, so if you are in the market, my contact information is down below. Now onto the final unit at 13th and 1st, where we have a five bedroom apartment that's $12,000. Having four other roommates seems a bit excessive, but you do what you gotta do to live in a prime location. You're only an avenue over from Union Square, which is very convenient subway wise, as well as for groceries or entertainment. My first official apartment in New York City was a few blocks from Union Square, and I went to plenty of last minute concerts for cheap at Irving Plaza, which makes me miss the area. Union Square also has a farmer's market Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Saturdays, as well as a holiday market during November and December. It's a great area to live around. As for the unit itself, I will say, typically with a five bedroom apartment, most of the bedrooms are going to essentially be closets, but I was pleasantly surprised by this unit. All of the bedrooms are large enough for a bed, a dresser, and a desk. Oftentimes, if the bedrooms are large, that means that the living space is cramped, but this unit is plenty large enough. A solid four stars for size. Natural light in this unit is tricky. All of the bedrooms have proper windows, but the window in the living room is more for show than anything. If it were a proper window, you'd just be staring at a brick wall though, so I like the frosted panes as an alternative. Four stars for natural light because of the bedrooms and the design choices. This unit is beautifully updated, and of course, it has that in-unit washer dryer. I don't have laundry even in my building currently, so to say I am jealous is an understatement. An easy five stars for in-unit amenities. For layout, I prefer how this unit utilizes the long hallway as the kitchen instead of adding the kitchen to the living room. If the living space also had the kitchen in it, then it would just feel so much smaller. I think it's a solid layout, so five stars. And lastly, we will talk about access to the subway. Since we are so close to Union Square, we are only an avenue away from the L, N, Q, and R, and W. Another easy five stars for subway access. That brings this unit's overall total to 4.6 stars, which is very high, especially for a five bedroom in the East Village. If you enjoyed today's video, you'd probably like some of my other tours, so you should click here. And have a great day.